Let's welcome they are the, the reigning world champions. Rafford. They are five times national champions. They have been pushing the boundaries. They won Skate Canada, they won the NHK, they were second in uh, the Grand Prix final in Barcelona. This is Megan Duhamel and Eric Radford of Canada. Hometown Glory by Adele, the music. Better split triple twist than in the short program. One of their big elements to come, the side-by-side -side triple loops. There's only one other couple has done it in the event so far. Good. Clean for both. Strong elements, big scores, and lovely transitional movement. Ah, oh, well done, excellent. That's really helped their chances for gold. This is looking very good for Megan and Eric. Side by side, triple toe, double toe, double toe. Technical score, looking good. As is the unison and the side by side combination spin. Lovely touches within the choreography. Beautiful dismount, the flow. They are super. This is the last biggie. Hey, throw a triple loose. <laughs> And another fabulous this night. So much better than the shore, all round everywhere. Again, trying to get the crowd even more on side. Yeah, she doesn't need to try because they're already there.
On your feet again, Boston. On your feet again. Look at that technical score. And that only tells half the story because there was the artistry there. But gosh, there's the soul and the passion in this. And that young lady, Megan Duhamel, has been inspiring us again and again with her attitude and her approach. Congratulations, what a fabulous achievement. Megan Duhamel and Eric Radford of Canada. Megan Duhamel Brilliant, and, and whilst Eric we hope Radford that we're gonna see two more Canada. wonderful performances, I could be quite satisfied if those are the 2016 World Pair Champions. That was a worthy World Championship winning performance. It really was. And as we can see from the technical score, where their strength is, the side-by-side -side triple, we talked about that yesterday, the base value and the triple loots is higher than what most couples will go for. They did the throw quad saco, that's got a base value of 8.2 marks, which is higher than what most other couples will go for too. But for me, in this program, I would also go with them on the choreography. I'm not, I, to be truthfully honest, I'm not their greatest fan in terms of their skating skills. But in terms of transitions, choreography, interpretation, and certainly her delivery of the performance and execution, the judges should reward it in the nines at least. And Bruno Marcotti, who uh, married Megan de Hamel, is uh, on the right-hand side of the coaching team there. You have probably heard him say, that's the best you've ever done it, and this is the time to do it. And here, big element. She's not even that tight in the air. She's not even... Super, super tight, but that's their third quadruple saco. She's got room for five turns. <laughs> she just makes it work. She, she's, it's so low in the knee, and she makes it work. Yes, if you've ever, if you've seen any interviews with her, she's very feisty. She fought for everything. <laughs> uh, it's a fabulous performance, and uh, gosh, there's. Uh, and uh, I'm not a fan, Nikki, when there's fist pumping and and. and gesturing towards the audience but it's justified when you can skate as well as that and when you can pull off those elements as well as she did yeah <laughs> uh, i think being being excited is uh, is good perfect perfect we have two more to go aliona savchenko and bruno masso on next and then tatiana bolasosha and maxim trankov to come <laughs> So it's not over the till it's over, but this Hamill is going to be a huge, a huge mark. Their best they've ever had is 221.53 in total. It's beaten that. It's beaten that by 10.